The dumb jock stereotype all started back in 500 BC Greece when athletes were criticized for not developing their intellectual capacities. Eventually, this continued to create ideas of student athletes to be inferior academically and intellectually. Therefore, this came to create the dumb jock stereotype for student athletes, especially African American student athletes. Today, the media has continually tainted the academic credibility of college athletes. Common stereotype reports include athletes not meeting NCAA requirements, athletes failing courses, low graduation rates, athletes being given grades, and athletes taking easy courses. It creates an anti-intellectual climate in sports, especially for African American athletes in the United States. However, we believe that this is a false stereotype due to its lacking evidence in research. To start, there has been no significant differences between student-athlete GPAs and college student GPAs, as well as in their academic efforts. For example, college athletes' average GPA was 22.66% higher on the 4.0 scale than those of non-athletes. Also, the mean average days missed by an athlete group was the black male athletes, 7.112 days, while the mean average days missed for white female non-athletes, a non-athlete group, was 11.653 days. Therefore, this information seems that year in and year out, the dumb jocks get more out of the educational experience than the non-athletes. To continue, any decreased academic performance of African American athletes could be a result of a stereotype threat which is when individuals feel at risk of confirming a negative stereotype about themselves. Therefore, they perform poorly and prove the stereotype correct. Academically engaged African American college athletes are most susceptible to stereotype threat in the classroom. Therefore, African American student athletes experiencing undermining intellectual performance could be because the stigma interferes with academic self-knowledge. A recent study asking collegiate athletes how they were perceived and treated by faculty and other non-athlete students found that 33% reported feeling perceived negatively by professors and 59.1% by students. 62.1% reported a faculty member had made a negative remark about black athletes in class. These are beliefs based on stereotypes that create negative views towards athletes and create a stereotype threat as it brings down students' athletes mentally. Lastly, graduation rates for student athletes are actually higher than normal college students. For example, although thought of otherwise by a great number of people, research shows that D1 student athletes in almost all sports and all demographics improved their graduation rates, most notably a 3% point increase for African Americans in all sports what contributed to a record high 87% graduation success rate. This comes to prove that African American athletes do not conform to the stereotype that is often presented to them. Also, black student athletes graduate at a rate 2% higher than the normal general student body. More student athletes are graduating for all races than the student body in general. In conclusion, we do not believe that the dumb jock stereotype is an accurate representation for all African American in sports. Through research and evaluation, we were surprised to see that although there is a negative view towards their performance on academics, their GPA and graduation, graduation rates are extremely high, proving otherwise. Through this, we learned how to properly analyze research and information in order to understand the validity of a stereotype. Athletes deserve to be awarded for their athletic ability as well as their academic ability and we hope that in the future this dumb jock stereotype will fade with proving evidence from athletes.